What's going on guys? I'm Purple Boy and I'm back at it again with another video review. You're tuning in to Purple Film. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with your boy. Oh, I feel so warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> hey man, I'm going to be uh, reviewing for you guys Alpha. Uh, before we get into that video, go ahead and drop a like on this bad boy. Hey man, and click that subscribe button. Also man, follow me on social media so you can get updates on my channel and interact with your boy. Come on man, follow me and interact. Let's go ahead and get into it. To sum it all up, Alpha is Sony's live action version of How to Train Your Dragon. You won't have as much fun watching Alpha as you would How to Train Your Dragon, but I do believe this film offers up enough excitement and visual splendor to be viewed in theaters. The main character, Kita or Keta, pick which one you like, <laughs> is played by Cody Smith McPhee. You might recognize him from films like Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, uh, X-Men Apocalypse, uh, and Let Me In. That last one is especially good. I definitely recommend that one. He's exceptional as the film's main protagonist, putting on his best survival expressions. The other noteworthy performances here are by Johannes Hakur Johannesson. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he plays Keta's father and leader of their tribe, Tail? I'm gonna I'm gonna say Tail. There's not too many characters here. These are pretty much like the main characters, kind of, so to speak, uh, aside from the wolf, of course. And we mainly see these two characters interact with each other for the first half of the film as it sets up Keta's journey into becoming a man. The film gets us rooting for Cody Smith as we see his character try to live up to his father's expectations and prove that he's worthy of following in his footsteps. Thanks to the movie's simplistic story and engaging performances, I rooted for Keta as he struggled to return home. The journey home, I will admit, it can seem slow. You know what I'm saying? You might be checking your watch in this one. A lot of walking and sitting and walking and sitting, you know, interacting with the dog. I mean, but honestly, it's pretty much what you would get in a, you know, man versus wild uh, type of scenarios. There are a few times when the film would sort of set up this really suspenseful and just like epic moment only to end it abruptly. And honestly, I really... I like to think that that was probably due to the budget constraints. Had this movie have a budget like The Revenant, then maybe we'll be seeing more scenes like this. What is epic though, that I have to take my hat off to, <laughs> is the breathtaking scenery. The cinematography does a great job giving you this idea that you're in this prehistoric time. It's almost like watching one of those Earth documentaries in 4K. And speaking of 4K, your boy will be purchasing this bad boy in 4K Blue Ray. <laughs> Sony is definitely no, if you collect these movies, Sony is known to have like some of the best 4K transfers in the industry. So yeah, Alpha is a definite purchase for me. The marketing really sells you on this, you know, sort of beginning relationship between man and best uh, friend. But I think that's just a minor, you know, thing when considering the overall story. Besides, some of you might not even find it all believable that this, you know, kid could <laughs> domesticate this wild animal. The wolf isn't really a character per se, and his relationship with Keta is one more so out of necessity. Yes, the relationship between the wolf and Keta is adorable and it will definitely elicit a warm, fuzzy, emotional response from the audience. But dude, Cody Smith's performance, like his character's resilience is so freaking powerful and became like the star of the movie for me. With the rise of feminism, in our media, there's one question that folks keep asking. What does it mean to be a man? Why am I confused? They say I'm doing this wrong. They say I can't do this. What is going on? Some might even feel that their manhood is being attacked. You know what I'm saying? That they're trying to demasculate men in our society. And I'm here to tell you that that's just not true. Okay, you have your few crazy people here and there. And then honestly, man, with folks like Kathleen Kennedy and the whole Star Wars SJW thing, 
to be honest, man, it, it kind of almost seems like that's just folks trying to level the playing field, so to speak. I just really believe that that's not the case. I mean, you have some extremists here and there, but we need our men and we need that masculinity intact. Let's look at it from a different way. Maybe we're being challenged to redefine what manhood is, what masculinity really is. And in its own subtle way, alpha does that. It's in my opinion, that a great male leader is one who, you know, just, he just, he doesn't only subscribe to the idea that bravado and machoism is the measure of the man's worth. Uh, one thing we can learn from our women, and yes, I say that, man, because a lot of times we feel like we can't learn nothing from our women, but we can. And one thing that, I, that I'm pretty sure that we can learn from our women is that strength comes from the ability to be vulnerable and compassionate. I'm telling you, man, try it out. Just try it out for size, fellas. Don't be prideful. Don't be prideful. You know what I'm saying? Because pride comes before the fall. Oh, God. I think you got the picture. I think my camera's a little messed up. <laughs> hey, man, that's my review for Alpha. Hey, if you guys like this review, go ahead and drop a like on this video and click that subscribe button so you can come back for more, man, to check out more reviews, more trailer reactions. Follow me on social media as well uh, so you can interact with your boy, man, and you can uh, get some updates on my channel. Hey, the next film you watch, I hope it encourages inspires and entertains thanks for watching